Okay, well, let's go help the missus with dinner. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Do I have a choice? Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. Wow, she's actually really refreshing to talk to compared to the dad. So, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. Oh, you, you have no idea. Persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Huh. I love how she actually genuinely wants to get to know Chloe, especially since she realizes that Chloe is actually really important to Rachel. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. Cough, cough, hint, hint. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Uh, what's it like being married to the DA? A cheating one, Much at like fact. being married to anyone else, I imagine. But with a lot more secrets, right? Secrets? Chloe. Like attorney, client privilege, and all that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. Chloe, you on thin ice, girl. You better be careful what you say next. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Chloe. Excuse me? You said if I could. Chloe, just do... Never mind. Do what she's asking you to do. You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe, you've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Chloe, you're so stupid. Just do the job, okay? It's off to the table with you. That's a big gallon of milk. Okay, so these plates are gonna plate on this table. Perfect. Look at that. Being helpful. Chloe, Justin Williams' mom just called me. Were you in the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. Kind of just happened. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe. I miss you. Sorry, Mom. I'm um, acting like I'm in the family with... Rachel's mom tonight, so... Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? Wait, you want me to ask I him? I will be a dear. Talking to James. Uh. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. You know what, Chloe? I'm the same way. I hate cheaters. In fact, if you're gonna cheat on someone, what's the point? Just dump the person if you don't want to be with them. Pig. Something else? Yeah, pig. Do you want to drink or not? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. 
Ah, let's say sharing. Okay. One, two, three. Look at him. Sherry. Chloe, oh. he doesn't, he doesn't Chloe, get nor understand your jokes. You can help me understand something. Oh, Lord. I'll give it a shot. Didn't Rose and I were worried about Rachel. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Wow, the problem asking me what Rachel's problem is. Oh, and look at the options besides me, besides you. Oh my goodness. How it's like it's like this game wants me to start something. Hard to say. Maybe she's rebelling against something or someone. Cough, cough, what hint, hint. Would Rachel <laughs> have to rebel against? You. You've given her everything she could ask for. Dude, you're cheating Yet on your it wife. It seems you're right. Rachel's actions show that something in her has changed. Yeah, you. When she I'd saw you lying. with another woman. Well, I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship. Really? But perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Choppy waters of... You know what, sir? Uh. She's... Affected Thanks. by your infidelity, pig. Anyways, the problem asking me what's Rachel's problem? The audacity. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. You can tell they're not really comical. But then again, Chloe with her deadpan humor. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, Ugly ass glassware. Triangle Basic shape one? shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Ugly ass triangle looking glass. Okay, so where I assume this is the Oh, so this is where he sits, of course. The head of the table, am I right? That's right. I would have done the same thing too. Okay. So the plates are there, the glasses are there. What's next, Rose? Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. Mm -hmm. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. Wait, the what? Is in it's the... cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. <laughs> right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I, I think. Yeah, it's a compliment, Time to Chloe. Light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. Wow, candles during dinner time? Even I don't do that. How fancy are you? Wow. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? I feel like that's foreshadowing. Oh, <gasps> dinner time. Okay. Behave, Chloe. Behave. Don't say anything crazy or dumb. It's actually a little bit late for dinner. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What Look about at them. that fire? Silently <laughs> judging. <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, Rachel. Never heard of you doing that. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Bye, Chloe. <laughs> huh. 
What does that mean? Passion? I don't what know. do you mean? You tell me. Chloe, shut up. Stop. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Mm. Arson. Why would anyone do that? Because Rachel is angry Any at the fact that her dad's cheating. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Wow, Ooh. how nice. Thanks. How well nice. Said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Ooh, that oh, Family's not merely getting a gift. Bad. Look it at is her. a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never ever taken for granted. You're such an hypocrite, bro. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. Yeah, Rachel, hint, hint, An cough, interesting cough. interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. Really? But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Damn, Rachel. Rachel? Uh, uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, you blow me, Rachel. <laughs> Yo, Chloe, Chloe, you're so stupid. <laughs> I can't sit here oh. and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel, oh, so we're doing it, this. Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. Ooh. Ooh. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. <gasps> Excuse me? The we language. Yesterday, at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Wow. No offense, Mr. Amber, but I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough. Wow, he's are pissed. Not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. Really? And my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Oh, yeah. Rachel's about to lose it. I knew this dinner was going to go bad. Let's see how long it's going to take for her to just finally blow up. Any second now. Any second. Woo! Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. But you kissed her. Got to go that catch you next time. I'll see you, Twitchy. Mother. What? What? Okay. I know what you're thinking. Where's the music? I was trying to make sure I don't get copyrighted, so I turned off the music for this uh, series. Wow. Wow. I am so shook. Oh, look at Frank. Oh, no. It's that same guy that beat up Drew. What's going? Ooh. Blood next to Drew? That's not good. Is that Victoria? I know she's pissed. 
I know she's pissed that we convinced her not to do the play. But oh well, I, I knew that play was going to suck anyways. Oh, look at Joyce. Chloe's been on the run for a couple days now, not wanting to come home because Joyce decided to choose her boy toy over Chloe. Speaking of the devil, look at him. I don't know, I just... This guy here thinks he can act like a dad, but he's not her dad. And look at that fire in the background. That same fire that's... <gasps> Aw, she's going to talk to him? You know, I'm not used to seeing Nate all happy and positive compared to the first part of Life is Strange. Wow, I can't get over the fact that that woman we saw is Rachel's actual mom. That's Rachel's mom? That's Rachel's mom. And he waits to tell her now of all times? Clearly, he was trying to keep it hush-hush as long as possible. I bet he wasn't even planning on telling her. I felt like my dad's been, damn, I can't even read. I just, I didn't know. There's plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree. That the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Shut up, David. That sucks. I hate how he just inserted himself in. Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick up. But whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, yeah, this was a scary situation to be in. I seriously thought Jew was going to die. And then leading to the play. The play was like the funnest moment so far in this series. I'm not going to lie. And the fact that Rachel basically carried the show on her shoulders. Iconic as hell. And then this happens. The moment that we've all been waiting for this whole time. Wait, y'all didn't show the kiss? Oh, but yeah, show that, huh? Look at eight. Look at Rachel fuming. Rachel, that woman you saw. That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Yeah, I'm shook too. Rachel, say something, Rachel. Girl, are you tell okay? You all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for Chloe stays. Oh. And you're holding my hand in front of your parents. Ooh. Of course. That's a bold move, Rachel. In every way that matters. Rose is my wife, and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. Wow. I'm gonna tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? I'm right by your side, Rachel. It's okay. Whatever happens in the dark is going to come out to the light, and this is a prime example of it. Come on, Rachel. Chloe. You got this. I'm right here. Good. I need you. I know you do. I know you do. Ooh, this is scary for the both of us. I can tell. All right, Rachel. So 
So we're both going to see exactly what the father is about to say. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. She's given me the same vibes Sometime, as Rachel. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. Wow, I bet that was hard to deal with and to realize. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Okay. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Oh my god, that's baby Rachel. That's Becoming so cute. Your father. It's the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. Love is blind. And I'll take over your mind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Oh, she turned to drugs. I could see the needle underneath the bed. No, Sarah. Oh, no. Hungry she was a druggie. I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. But she did, did she? Is that what you're implying? Or was it because she's just an absent mom? I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. By anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. That is so sad. Wow. This is so crazy how everything is finally piecing itself together. What you saw at the Overlook? Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done, but after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. 
and again and again to keep you safe. Wow, that's so unfortunate. Rachel, what do you think about all of this, Rachel? So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. Wait, what? Every Why? Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? And for what? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. He's afraid. He's but afraid. It's true. Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Oh, he has a point, Rachel. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Okay. She's about to faint, is she? Man, this is heavy. Very heavy. All right, well, I guess this is my cue to leave, right? Because what can I do at this point? Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. He, hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. <sighs> But you totally saved us. Without you, there would be there would have been no show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. We can't because Rachel's having an identity crisis. I I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Okay, but first off, let me apologize to this man. I wonder what James is thinking right now. I'm sorry for calling you all those names. I'm sorry for assuming the worst out of you, James. I'm just <sighs> sorry. Um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. Okay. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. Ooh. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. That's why well, he doesn't want her to meet I her mom. I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. Okay. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.